We all have our own little collection of customized theories on how the world works, some more accurate than others. And I feel that everyone is somehow interested in metaphysics. I am not trying to say that your assumptions are wrong, but they are simply that, assumptions. The term first philosophy was used by Aristotle to refer to metaphysics, which he considered to be the study of being as being, or the study of existence itself. In this sense, Aristotle laid the groundwork of this first philosophy by dividing it into three core branches, still relevant today. Metaphysics is considered the first, or foundational, branch of philosophy because it deals with the most fundamental questions about reality and existence. Like it or not, we all make assumptions about metaphysical concepts like what it means to truly exist, the nature of causation, or the mysteries of time. Even scientists find themselves pondering metaphysical questions, such as asking whether subatomic particles are the ultimate constituents of the universe. While physics explores the material world, metaphysics goes beyond, venturing into the realm of the immaterial. Physicists can show how things cause other things, but they might not be able to tell us why. Metaphysicians deal with questions such as, is an observer essential for something to be a cause, or is causation something that happens regardless of any perceiver? Are observed causes and effects truly linked, or is it just a coincidence that one follows the other? If you replaced every part of a ship over time, is it still the same ship? This query cuts to the heart of questioning identities and realities we take for granted. Even the fact that we use the word metaphysics might be a problem in metaphysics. So take some time to reflect on the beliefs you hold about how the world works. When you dig deeper, you might discover reality is more nuanced than simple explanations. We are all metaphysicians at heart, so you don't need a pill to think about this stuff. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.